These are the main points of Goran Stefanovsky's presentation called Teaching the Unteachable, where he deconstructs the way that he teaches script writing, which is one of his jobs. First of all, he makes a comparison between what happens in the English art of creative writing and in the other arts such as music and uh, the visual arts such as painting. And he notes that the English honours degree was not established in Oxford until 1894. That was one of the last of the arts. It took a long time to catch up. He continues drawing parallels with other subjects between teaching script writing and subjects, saying that it's like mathematics or playing the trumpet. A large proportion of it is unteachable and it would ultimately depend on one's muses, circumstances or luck. He seems to be seeking for the tools of script writing in his presentation. He unpeels the examination like layers of an onion to reveal what he thinks and continues to compare script writing to other disciplines. He says one of the reasons for the suspicion against script writing may be in the fact that it lacks an obvious instrument. So he looks at driving lessons as another comparison and he suggests that he can easily define the objective constructs of other teaching situations and he notes how in your first driving lesson, you get into a car and make yourself familiar with the driving wheel, accelerator, brake, and so on. So in seeking for these tools, he actually comes up with six basic ingredients for script writing. And this is presented right at the pinnacle of his presentation, right in the middle. This is the most interesting part of the presentation for me. He says the first one is the where, i.e. the place, space and location, the when, time, timing or edit, the who, character, characterization, the why, motivational drive, the what, action, portal, structure and the how, approach, vision or genre. And when he's talking about these attributes, um, these six tools that can be used to teach script writing, he refers to the where, the when, the who, the why, the what, the how as traps. But I think what he actually means is the whole time I was listening to him, I was thinking the traps. And I think he actually means the hooks. Um, after presenting his six ways, uh, his six tools for script writing, the presentation takes a turn and he claims that the aim is not actually to preach the recipes of how it should be done, but to allow students to create their own connections and permutations. So although he's teaching them the scaffolding, it's up to the student to make their own connections. He talks of the importance of students transcending the scaffolding provided and says that students should surpass their teachers, go beyond them and eventually raise the question, what does the teacher know? So this raises the question, who does have the actual power in the teaching of someone? Is it the teacher or is it the student? Stefanovsky tells two anecdotes. The first one illustrates how the words that teachers use are life changing. And the second one demonstrates the true power of learning actually lies with the pupil and their ability to transcend the basics of what has been taught, rather like riding a bicycle. He sums it all up by saying teaching the unteachable is not a metaphor of an imaginary ideal. It is a standard. In his final thought, after quoting other ideas, he says this. We arrive at a pregnant paradox that only the unteachable that is worth teaching. It is only the unteachable that is worth teaching. And it is only here that the teaching becomes worthwhile. That made my head go in a whirl as I was 
imagining what he meant. Now, um, finally, just to break down what I noticed about Stanonavsky's presentation, um, I noticed that it was rather like climbing up a mountain where he had to convince the listener, uh, the audience, of his um, own assertions. And he had to do this by persuasion and he deconstructed the problem by convincingly comparing it to other forms of study and approaching it in quite an academic way. The actual revelation, the most important part of the presentation was like the pinnacle of the mountain that he was climbing up. And then going down the other side of the mountain, there was a less formal feel to the presentation, um, a more relaxed feel, a personal anecdote that he said was of friend's daughter and then his own very personal anecdote of um, his cousin teaching him to ride a bicycle so adding a really personal flavor to the lesson that he's taught us and I thought the structure of his presentation was extremely strong which made me feel more confident that he's a good teacher he knows what he's doing he knows the tools of how to construct a good piece of writing and that's why I followed that structure in this presentation so I hope that perhaps I'm like the student that has gone just a step beyond what the teacher was trying to teach me.